Hello friends, I'm Manak from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to a video tutorial series on StatPro. So friends, in the previous video, I had completed my model up to ground floor slab level and I had also added my columns. Now in this video, we'll work on our ground floor plan and then we'll use translation repeat to copy that to the first floor. Now if we have a look at our first floor plan, we find that we have a beam here which was not present at the ground floor. So we have to make this change at the ground floor slab level. So if we have a look at our ground floor plan, we find that there is a beam which was not present at the plinth level. So we have to make those changes at our ground floor slab level. So let's move forward. I'll select add beams and then I'll join this beam. So my ground floor plan is now completely ready. So now I'll select the beam cursor and then I'll go to the front view. Now having gone to the front view, I'll select all these. Let me see the changes in the 3D model. Look, the, all the columns and the members of the ground floor slab level have been selected. Now I want to use translation repeat to copy it for our first floor slab level. So I'll simply use translation repeat along the y direction and default step spacing I'll give 3.2 that is my 10 feet 6 inch and then I'll just click on OK. So if an auto save option comes you can click on yes and save. So friends my model is now ready for up to first floor slab level. But one thing is remaining that is the headroom. So if you go through the our architectural plan you see that the headroom is present here. So first of all I need to place the nodes for these four columns. So for that I'll go to geometry and I'll and I'll insert the nodes here. So I have inserted the nodes for my headroom level and the height of the headroom I have taken as 2.8 meters. So I'll join the columns for my headroom. Now going back I'll click on add beams and then I'll join my columns for the headroom. So my columns have been added now I'll add the beams left to right, bottom to top, bottom to top and then again left to right. So I'll three see in my 3D view, I'll see in my 3D view that my headroom has been done. You can see here. You can also see the 3D rendered view of the model here. See this is the headroom. This is the plinth level. This is our ground floor slab level and this is our first floor slab level. So the modeling of our building is fully complete. In the upcoming videos we will see how to assign properties and loading. So friends if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please do subscribe and hit the bell icon and please do share with your friends because sharing is caring. Bye bye.